In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the account settings to allow your members to modify their account and notification settings within their profile in BuddyBoss platform. To start, we're going to want to enable account settings. And now, when we go on the front end, you'll see that in our profile dropdown, account is one of the options now. So we have login information and privacy. I'm going to go through these. I'll do data, export data in another video. So first we have our email. We can change our email here and we can change our password. Pretty straightforward. Go to privacy settings and we can see who can see our profile details. So if I go on the back end, we can see under Buddy Boss profiles, we have profile fields and in other videos I show how to create a bunch more profile fields that can be edited. If I go to my profile and click edit, I can edit these fields as well. So this allows you to set who can actually see them. So if I make it public, then anybody excluding logged out members can see that data unless you set your whole site to private network. And only me means the logged in user can see it, but nobody else except for admins. And all members means anyone who's logged in can see the data. There are some more options we can enable here if we turn on some other components. So I'm gonna go back to Buddy Boss components and then I'm gonna turn on notifications, social groups, member connections. Now you'll see some extra options. So we have email preferences. This is related to notifications. And it's basically saying, choose your email notification preferences. So when a member invites you to join a group, a member invites you to connect, etc., I have these new options. I could go turn on, let's say, private messaging. And now I can get notification when someone sends me a message. So it's gonna send me a notification in the system. And then it's also going to email me. So I can turn on and off if I wanna get those emails. And then group invites, we can see this notice currently every member in the community can invite you to join their groups. Optionally, you may restrict group invites to your connections only. If I check that, then only people who are connected to me are able to invite me into groups. And as I mentioned before, the export data, I'll cover that in a separate video.